Sports leagues are having success at the professional level, but the same cannot be said for organizations involving kids. KSBY's Rob Schiff tells us how youth soccer on the Central Coast is being impacted. 2020 has affected athletes all around the country, but it's been especially tough for kids, whether that's high school, middle school, elementary school, little league, all of them have either had their seasons canceled or are still waiting to get started. And when it comes to the American Youth Soccer Organization, they're going to have to continue to wait. In a normal year, the end of August usually means soccer season for AYSO players is right around the corner. We would have been uh, forming teams right now. We would have been, uh, our first game usually starts the week after Labor Day. We would have been practicing this week. It's, it's pretty tough. Chris Woods has been dealing with this from the very start. Woods coached the Destroyers last season. The 10U All-Stars won a perfect 31-0 last year. They made it all the way to the Western State's Final Four in Arizona, but the tournament was canceled on March 12th, the day before they were supposed to leave. Kids were pretty gutted, you know, they've worked so hard all, all year. You know, I thought we had a really, really good shot to, uh, to win the whole thing. Now, when it comes to this year, Woods and other coaches say they tried as hard as they could to make this season a possibility. But one coach says they're still thinking of ways to get these athletes into a competitive environment soon. Chris and I and a couple of the other coaches have coached All-Stars for the past few years, and we've, uh, we're, we know we're hoping for something like that. I think if we started off doing something and maybe in small, small numbers, I think, I think we could get enough people out there. And never say never. Maybe there's a, a season like early next year or something like that. You know, just really trying to, just trying to stay positive and, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Now, Woods tells me that even though the season is already canceled, he and other coaches on the Central Coast are still hopeful that they can get an all-star winter spring season in at some capacity. In San Luis Obispo, Rob Schiff, KSBY News.